rappers getting their chain snatched. Like that's obviously like a big, that's really where it's at now, especially now with social media. It's like, yo, you get a rapper's chain, it's like, damn near the start of career. Obviously you can jug it and flip it, or let alone like you start getting posted in the blogs. How Like, can a rapper come back from getting their chain snatched and let alone like, what does a rapper do when they get their shit snatched? Like, I don't know, I don't never got my shit snatched, but it's just like, it's just like, that's that's a part of staying dangerous. Yeah. It's just like you ain't you ain't never seen young boy get his chain took or st- unless it was like a performance and it's too many people and somebody try to grab it and ah uh, ah uh, uh. yeah. See what I'm saying? Like that would come with staying dangerous. Is it a difference between like nigga getting the chain snatched by like some real street niggas that are not rappers? But yeah. By a rapper? Bro, anybody can get their chain took. Yeah. Like five Five masked men can come in here right now and put that gun to me and I'm gonna do this. <laughs> See what I'm saying? But after that, it's just like this. I'm gonna do this, but at the same time, it's just like, I'm gonna I'm act like I'm taking my shit out, but I'm gonna fight it. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Because that go back to me being not scared. I know what come with this shit. Yeah. See what I'm saying? It, they gonna be like, Kenny B got stepped on for trying to fight somebody for um taking his chain. Yeah. See what I'm saying? But at the same time, if you just take your shit off and hand it over, I just feel like, I feel like, that you ain't on what you be talking about. Yeah. See what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if it's just like I said, I go everywhere by myself, gang. Like, mm-hmm. if that was the case with, with the Lil Rodney, we was in the mall. Mm-hmm. You was with way more people than me. Yeah. Y'all could have jumped and beat the fuck out of me, took my chain, left me slumped out there. Yeah. But it didn't happen. See what I'm saying? Because it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, ain't nobody on that for real. Ain't nobody on that unless it's just like, like, you ain't heard about nobody taking nobody chain because they scared of what's going to happen to him. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Like, Jada, he asked CJ to let him wear his chain and get on live. Yeah. He wore his chain. CJ chilling. He left. That's not taking nobody chain. Okay. See what I'm saying? Like, that's not taking nobody chain. That's one of the, I mean, that's the main argument anybody had with that shit where it's like, yeah. well, he didn't, like, actually, just, like, say, yeah, give me that type shit. He didn't go point. He didn't do none of that. If you was, if you didn't care about the consequences, you would have did that. So you think that's why like CJ still able to like prosper and like and like that shit's not really like it's a smudge, but it's not like niggas. Nobody just said all right, we not fucking with CJ. like niggas. Shit, bro, actually probably started going back harder after that shit. You know, like yeah, that's why that's why it's just like people still mess with CJ. See what I'm saying? Cause it just went like that. Yeah, I feel like Rizzo Rizzo buzz went down a lot cause that happened. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Like that's my boy. I fuck with Rizzo, but I feel like. You can't come back from that. The way it goes down. You can't come back from that because it's just like, you can come back from it. Let me rephrase that. You can come back from it. You can always do music and be in a better boom, boom, boom. But if you don't get your chain back, it's like, because a rapper chain is like a, um, an employee badge and shit at work. Like, you need that. Like, yeah. like if you don't got no badge on or no work shirt and shit, you, you really not official. See what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Your chain is everything. Your jewelry, your image is everything. Yeah. So if somebody take that from you, they violate you as a person. They violate you as a man, a gangster outlet. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So I feel like if if you don't die about it, it's just like, uh, see what I'm saying? Like, but what about like, all right, so, you know, not to use CJ as an example, but it's a lot of rappers that do this shit. But like, it's like, bro, you back in stop six with some young nigga. Like, you're shining. Like, yeah. I'm not saying he's food, but you look like food mm-hmm. around niggas that don't have this shit. It's like, where's the ego and the pride when it's like, yo, I'm in the hood, I got the chain. Like, why do we gotta wear the chain? At, like, it's just like this. Like, I would have never touched see that chain. You know why? Cause I've been knew him since I was little. Mm-hmm. Loyalty. Yeah. See what I'm saying? The the dudes that he been around, they can hang with him. Mm. See what I'm saying? He just, I feel like he just was like. With them, cause it was just like I ain't gonna say he didn't know them, mm-hmm. but he didn't know Jada. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Nobody in my hood really know Jada. Now I was gonna say uh, Keith introduced him to Jada. Yeah, Keith brought look, Keith brought Jada up around like 2019. Yeah, Jada from the hood, I think, cause everybody be saying that. But it's like Jada in one of my old videos, and I never knew. No shit. Yeah, he in the video with me and Shred. Um, wow. I, th- I forgot what it's called, it, but me and Shred did a video and J-Dub been jumping around. I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't even no dude. That's wild. But it's just like everybody knew me already because I'm Kenny B. Like, I'm Lil' Kendrick. So 
everybody that knew me, but at the same time, it's like, me and Jada, me and Jada used to be sitting in the trap and like, he used to get watered every day. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Like people used to come throw water on him every day. Like he got so numb to the point where he'd just get water on him and just look up and be like, <laughs> and go back to sleep. See what I'm saying? Like I feel like nobody ever took him serious. Like so when so when he did get that light on him, mm -hmm. it was just like fuck. Yeah. Like I gotta keep that image up. I gotta I gotta keep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See what I'm saying? I gotta keep stepping. I gotta keep doing what I'm doing because I don't want my buzz to go down. I don't want to be the hottest in for work. Man. See what I'm saying? Like, I really know these people. Like, I really know these folks. Like, J Dub used to wake up every morning in the trap and cut on like old blood music, like Cali music. Yeah. And he used to do like a little blood walking shit, Cali music, boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? I really know him. Like, not know him, but I ain't know him, but when I met him, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, bro, that's crazy because, all right, you know, for a period of time, like, before all this shit, niggas was trying to compare forward on some Chicago shit. I think it's just because Chicago is the scene. But like, bro, like it, it, that shit. When you talk about how y'all actually grew up and you know all these niggas, yeah, it reminds me. Like, I was born in Chicago, so like I know the ins and outs of like yeah. the, all that dirt and judges. Like these niggas grew up together. Yeah, like niggas was fighting at basketball parks and shit. Yeah, not for real. So it kind of reminds me of that shit where it's like, yeah, the rap shit just that's in that's in any city, that's in every city. Yeah, it just like it just like this like. A lot of bodies don't get dropped in forward. A lot of bodies get dropped in forward, but for us beefing um, groups, a lot of bodies don't get dropped in forward because in other cities, it's like, that's how I killed my brother. Mm. So I don't give a fuck about the police. I don't give a fuck about it. When I catch him, I'm going to stand over him. Man. See what I'm saying? I just cried for a week. My little brother just got killed, so I'm going to kill your brother. And then they over there gonna say they just kill my brother, so I'ma kill their cousin. Or they kill my cousin, them is repetitive, like it's steady going. Yeah. For work, ain't nobody got stepped on. Ain't nobody killed nobody, brother. Ain't nobody did nothing to nobody. Like for us, I ain't gonna say too much, but niggas done got shot. Yeah. See what I'm saying? But ain't nobody brother done died and boom boom by the ops. No. J Dub didn't die by the ops. See what I'm saying? Like uh, that's it just like nobody ain't killed nobody in no click. Even though um, Jada, you know, is part of like a clique that's like, you know, ops to, to you and, uh, and other rappers and shit. Well, let me rephrase that because they gonna get on my ass. Oh, God. The <laughs> boys that got stepped on by some boys. See what I'm saying? But y'all know who I'm talking about, so don't get on my ass, okay? No. Yeah, okay, so Jada, you know, like obviously niggas, that's niggas on different sides and shit, but, you know, him. To Mo3, you know, niggas lose some big rappers. I, we're, I'm just using Jada because he's in Fort Worth. Does that shit hurt the scene? Like, or does. I don't give a fuck. So when he passed away, like, did, did that I didn't care. No shit. Because it's like. For what? That was my op. I was happy. Did like, it? for what? <laughs> like, what? Like, I'm a gangster, bro. Like, I'm not scared to say nothing. I'm not scared to do nothing. Like, anybody I be with, like, for us. Do you know, do you know, um, Le Carlos, Le Barlos? Uh, he, he ate game. He was the nigga that you interview. He had his shirt off with the tattoos. I think I know you're talking about. He got a, that's my bitch. See <laughs> what I'm saying? You know, cause he not, he not scared of Almighty them. Yeah. Everybody else in that gang is scared of Almighty them, so they want to go at me. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? But if they was real niggas, they'd be like, that's y'all beef. Y'all, we hood. I fuck with Kenny B. Yeah. See what I'm saying? But they feel like Almighty gonna get on their ass for that. So he always fucked with me. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? He'll go over there with them and then come over there with me and chill. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Like, that's what I fuck with niggas like that. Like, everybody that beef with me now, it came from them choosing a side. I never went at them. Yeah. See what I'm saying? They chose who they want to ride with and they mm -hmm. went at me. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So at the same time, that would make smoke through, throughout that. But, Barlow's, I fuck with little Barlow's. See what I'm saying? Like, gang shit, man. I know what the fuck going on. Kenny B. Youngin' locked in with Spirit Springer, nigga. Yes, sir.